What's up guys, JFM here, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode of Let's Play, episode 96. Hopefully you guys will enjoy, I have some great stuff planned, and I cannot wait to jump into it. But of course, let's go ahead and start today off right with the subscriber palace. So these are today's subscribers. We've got Trey Green, NDL, Eric, also Sam Gamer PT, and Jake Videos One. So a huge thing Thank you goes out to not only them but to everybody you guys have been killing the support on this series it's truly been incredible thank you so 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 much and on that note i was wondering what do you guys have i'm singing 10,000 likes can you do it? Let's find out. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and start off with today's things. So if you remember yesterday, I was working on the sugarcane farm, and now I've pretty much finished decorating it. So I made it look very, very similar to this blacksmith. It only required a little bit of wood and then a few uh, stone bricks, and uh, yeah, I'm digging it. I've also got a nice sign outside and some item frames with awesome sugarcane pieces inside. And as you can tell, once I walk in the farm, is pretty much, well, beautiful. I went with the lime green clay around the side. It doesn't really look lime, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so uh, yeah, everything else is pretty much working perfectly fine. Now, I guess what we can do here is wait for it to grow. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Okay, so I'll wait here and hopefully we can catch it on camera. Okay, that's it. I give up. <laughs> I've been waiting here for a while now and it's just not working. So what I'll do instead is uh, trigger it myself. There we go, awesome. It will trigger this one too. Perfect, I love it. So yeah, there we go. I am digging this farm. Now the design itself, well, I, I did it last episode, so if you missed it, you can go ahead and check that out, but it's really not too complicated at all. Uh, I also added a little bit of decoration here just to make it look nice and keep it lit up, but really it's a very simple farm and it's really, really easy to make. All you need for this design is seven pistons, uh, no seven on each side. So 14 pistons, uh, 14 observers, and 14 hoppers. Everything else is pretty easy to get. So I added chests on this side for more storage. Eventually, once I start filling up this chest with sugar cane, I can just move it over to these chests. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comment section below, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, mostly uh, self-explanatory. So that is the sugar cane farm, and here's one more look from it uh, from the outside. So uh, for those of you that were not not watching last episode, I made an awesome, awesome, awesome fishing rod, and I named it Fish Stick. So I've got it here. That's where I'm gonna keep it. And anytime I come over here, I'll be able to use it and just and just fish awesomeness. So in the last video, I, I really actually couldn't fish. Fishing was broken on build one. Now that I'm on build two, however, I can fish, and it is fantastic. I've already cast it a few times. I've caught myself a fishing rod, four regular raw fish, and two raw salmon. So I am definitely looking to get a few more things today. The main reason I wanted to do this was I wanted to be able to get name tags and saddles without having to find new dungeons because that's way harder than just sitting on a dock and pressing a button. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. What is this? Unbreaking 3, Luck of the C2, and Infinity 1 Enchanted Book. That is a really, really, really weird find. Oh my god. Guys, 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 look. Look, 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 it's okay, okay, change of plans, we are not doing this now, we will fish later, look at that! Guys, it's a white horse! Oh, 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 that's so sick! Okay, I need to tame him. Guys, there have been horses spawning around here recently, which is super cool. I just need to get the saddles, maybe? I don't even need them, but I want to be able to ride them back. Oh my goodness, I've been telling you guys I've wanted a white horse for a long time, and it's finally here. Who's got a saddle? You do. Let me get it, please, please, please. Okay, he's still over there. I couldn't find any hay. Uh, oh, you know what? I think I actually have hay bales here. Yes, I do. I've got plenty. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so we can easily make some wheat, and then we can feed him wheat so he likes us just a tad more, and then we'll go ahead and ride him away, tame him, and bring him back to the house. Now, a, a lot of you guys were commenting, you know, what was the last horse going to be? Because you guys know I wanted a white horse, right? Um, but, you, but other than that, I still have one more slot, so I really did 
didn't know what kind of horse I wanted. Oh, and he's, oh, he's good already. Awesome. Look, we can ride around already. This is fantastic. So he's got 11 hearts. That's pretty cool. Okay, we'll bring him back to his pen and I really got to eat something. Holy cow. Yeah, so like I was saying, you guys were commenting like crazy on last episode, wondering what in the world I'm going to get for my last horse because I said, like I just said, <laughs> I wanted a white one. But other than that, we've still got one more stall and I know what I'm saving it for. I know. I know what I'm saving it for. Guys, I am gonna find a skeleton horse and I'm gonna tame it. Next time there's a thunderstorm in this world, I am recording and running around and I'm going to find a skeleton horse and I'm going to conquer it and tame it. That is my goal. That'll be the last horse I get. I cannot wait. But for now, since I'm over here, let me show you guys what I built. So this is the new and improved uh, horse trials system. Yeah, so I want to give a huge shout out to my man, uh, Tyke. Once again, he was the one that kind of gave me, he, he led me in the right direction here. Oh, look, there's another horse over here. What are you all about, sir? How's it going? Oh, whoa, oh, oh. Oh, we've got a predator in the woods. Okay, so yeah, those are the horse trials here. We've got the speed test, which as you can tell is pretty much the same as last episode. All I did was add a fence and change the location of it. I think I moved it out a little bit. And then here we've got the jumping trial so I can see how high each of my horses can jump. So I want to go ahead and show you guys uh, my two best horses. I've tested them all. I've got two incredible horses for you today. This one right here is really my fastest horse. I mean, we'll have to try out the new white horse. Oh, forgot. I need to saddle we have to try out the new white horse because uh, I don't know how fast he is but um I know for a fact that this guy this guy you guys got to see this so he's not the fastest horse I have he is very very fast I'll show you guys now I think he's got like a 14 speed we'll find out so he gets stopped here so yeah a little over th he's a little faster than 13 but look at this dude's jump look at this dude's jump he just jumped four blocks in the air he can jump that high that is ridiculous that is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, I need to get the perfect jump. There we go. Look at this. So he might actually be able to jump higher than that. I don't know. So he can jump higher than my highest trial, which is absolutely crazy. No other horse can even come close to that. I'll show you guys. I've got this faster horse over here. Let's go ahead and take a look at... Oh, forgot. I need to saddle again. <laughs> There we go. So this guy is extremely fast. He actually breaks the system. Look, he can just go through the whole thing. Like, it's ridiculous. So he is really fast, but he is nowhere near as talented at jumping as the other horse. Take a look. He can't even get onto this one, which is three and a half. I think he can jump up three blocks. No, he can't even jump up three. He can't even jump. So he can do two and a half then. Yeah, he can do two and a half. He can't. The other one could do four, though, and maybe even more. I don't know. That's crazy to me. So, yeah, I, I tried the other horses. None of them were too, too impressive. Also, I got a few requests to take the red horse armor off of this guy and put it on the black horse. Uh, I think you guys, someone said it looked like Deadpool. So, there we go. <laughs> I actually like that a little bit better anyway. So, we'll leave that, and we'll give this guy the cyan blue horse armor. Yeah, okay. Now, let's go ahead and attach a saddle. Oh. Oh, there's already a saddle. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what this guy's all about. Now, I'm really excited for this white horse, but he is super slow. Or he just feels really slow compared to the other one. We'll go ahead and give it a go. Yeah, so he's slower than the other two we tried today, 11, which is not bad at all. It's still pretty fast. Let's go ahead and see how he can jump. So we'll start here at maybe two and a half. Hopefully, he can get that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he can get two and a half easy. Let's see if we can get uh, the three. Oh, I didn't even get a full. Okay, so this guy's really got some hops. Okay, I didn't get the full jump. There we go. Okay, so he can go three blocks high. That's not too bad. That's good for a horse. I think the two absolute freaks, though, uh, are easily this horse in speed and this horse with his jumping. Those two are ridiculous. It's really, really cool. So maybe I should breed them and try to get them uh, like a, a crazy good horse. I don't know. We'll figure it out from there. So now, like I said, all I need to finish off my collection is just a skeleton horse. And everything else, I think, is pretty good. Oh, wow. That was the biggest sidetrack ever. So let me go ahead and head back to fishing. I want to catch a few more things, a little bit more. Uh, maybe uh, maybe some more cool items, a, little few, a few more fish. And then I want to go cook them up in the blacksmith. Oh, take a look. <gasps> oh, that was fast. That was really fast. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Another one already. I need to. I need to. I need to. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness. We've done it already. We've got a name tag. Oh, well, I don't know what to name them. I don't know what to name the horses. Well, 
I guess it's up to you guys. I'm gonna need name requests. So what I will do is I will go ahead and name all the horses with signs, but I'll actually begin to start naming them with name tags later on. So we'll keep this name tag for later. I think I'll just put it in this chest. Yeah, we'll leave it in here for now. That's pretty sick though. So we've got our first name tag. Oh, that is awesome. So I will need your guys' help. I'm going to name all the horses, whether I can use a name tag or not. And then eventually once I collect enough name tags, I'll go ahead and actually properly the name them all with tags. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure what that was. So that is the power of a Luck of the Sea 3 Lure 3 Unbreaking 3 Fish Stick. That is what I'm talking about. So sometimes it does take a while to reel in, but sometimes it's just back to back to back, and you can get crazy, crazy good items. Like, I've only gotten a few regular fish, and already I've gotten an enchanted book, a fishing rod, a salmon now, which is pretty cool. It's still kind of, you know, just whatever. I just want to catch one more uh, rare item and then we'll go ahead and start cooking some fish hey what is this a flame one bow that's pretty cool I'll take it let's go ahead and find okay one more rare it's just too fun one more rare item and then <laughs> I'll call it a quits oh it's swimming in no nope, just a normal fish okay we'll throw it back down see who's coming to bite the bait Hiya. okay just okay just a normal fish just a normal fish <laughs> okay oh Okay, so I've actually caught a few things. I've caught a puffer fish. I've also caught a few regular fish I'm just waiting for one more rare item and that's it So it can't be a fish and it can't be something stinky like a leather boot. It's got to be something cool <laughs> Oh my good, okay, I gotta put some editing in this is absolutely crazy I just got like five reels in a row within like 30 seconds. That was absolutely nuts. This fishing rod is crazy. Now, of course, when I start talking about it, it's gonna slow down. Oh, there we go. Oh, ah, oh, just a normal fish. Okay, I'm getting great experience for the, by the, oh my goodness, look at that. It was like, it didn't even go into the water and it was already, oh my goodness, this is awesome. So, I love this fishing rod, man. So, I'm getting great experience. It's just crazy, it's crazy. Now, I'm not getting anything rare. No, oh, well, I'm getting salmon, which is, I guess, kind of rare. I don't know. I'm just excited. This is awesome. I just need to catch one, okay, one more good thing. I won't even talk. I won't even talk to you till I find something cool. Okay, okay, guys, I, I think I'm done. I, I've caught so many different things, just nothing as crazy as an- Okay, well, there we go, that's it. <laughs> what is this? Um, a feather falling four enchant- that's awesome. Okay, so we've got an enchanted book with feather falling four, leather pants, five salmon, six puffer fish, which is crazy, and then 20 normal fish. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and bring these normal fish back with me to the blacksmith so I can cook them up. Also, I'm not too sure. I don't believe this is a lightning storm. I can't tell because I can't I don't hear the volume when I record It's a fatal flaw. It's a fatal flaw, <laughs> but um, I'm not seeing any lightning if I do I'm dropping all plans and we're going to find a skeleton horse, but I don't see one So for now what I need to do is avoid all these weird monsters that are spawning all over the place and get over to the blacksmith And here we are so let me go ahead and climb upstairs and check out what we've got in here So do I have coal? I don't well I'll go ahead and use just some regular wood as the fuel for this uh, thing And then now we'll go ahead and add all the food I want to cook up I've got mutton I've got chicken and I've also got a whole lot of fish so that should start cooking and then it should eventually come out down here although do I have any other fuel I hmm I don't that's a bummer well it's whatever I'll still get a little bit of food okay so while all of this is cooking I'll go ahead and grab a little bit of this but I want to also head back over to the storage room because I want to make something before I go to the nether to work on the zombie pigman farm today what I want to do is I want to brew up some fire resistance potions and I know I have a few pieces of magma cream. I know I have somewhere, like a lot somewhere else in the world, but I know for a fact that I believe, uh, well, maybe four? Yeah, four. Okay, I've got four magma cream here. I know I have more somewhere else, but I won't need that many potions. So what I'll do now is run over to the brewing area, make some fire resistance potions to bring with me in the nether, and then we'll go ahead and pick up all the cooked food okay so there we go we've got three pieces of glass which we can use to make a few bottles so yeah three uh, 
that should be fine. I only need three. Now let's go ahead and walk back over to the brewing station where I believe I have a little bit of nether wart so we can make an awkward potion and then turn that into a fire resistance potion with a little bit of magma cream. I also think I might have some magma cream over here in my ingredients jar, which is right there. Oh yeah, okay, I've got three. Now I only need one, so let's go ahead and leave the rest here. Uh, let's grab uh, first our piece of magma cream and then next we also need, I think, just regular nether wart. So let's go ahead and start up the brewing process with a nether wart and now we need to fill up our lovely bottles. Where are they? There they are. And we can do that using our awesome little puddle down here to fill up our waters. Great, okay? Now it's time, let's put the waters inside and make ourselves this lovely awkward potion. Perfect. Yep, there they are. Now it's time to add this magma cream and we can check out and see what this is. I think I'm almost positive that this makes a fire resistance potion, but we'll find out in a second. The moment of truth, let's see, okay? Yes, fire resistance, lovely. Okay, and I probably could add redstone or gunpowder to it or something like that. Uh, I'm fine with it the way it is though. We'll leave it now. So, okay, what we need to do is return fish stick to its item frame. Then we can just head to the nether and I'll show you guys where this zombie pig man farm is and what it's all about. Oh, and another brand new horse. That's a pretty cool looking one actually. I like this one a lot. It's very similar to my other horse. I think just this whole area in general is a spawning ground for horses. I don't know why they weren't spawning earlier, but now they are and it's actually kind of weird because they're just horses. Random horses walking around. I like it though. They're pretty cool. Won't be taming that one for now. Anyways, it's time uh, without uh, any more inter inter interruptions, introductions. I don't know. Let's head into the nether. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at this. I've got a new a brand, a brand new, a brand new. This is actually the first time I've shown this. It's a walkway up, to, up kind of this way in this direction uh, to a brand new farm where we will be farming gold from zombie pigmen. Now I've set it up. However, I've got a lot of work to do. As you guys can tell, I've pretty much made a system where, um... Uh, it's going to be a spawning ground in a way. So, so what's gonna happen is I'll be standing over here. Okay, hold on, hold on. We've got company. We've got comp- <gasps> Oh, that was, that was almost bad. That was almost very bad. We have company. Time to shoot her down. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Dude, they go away. They, they disappear so fast. Oh, there they are. Okay, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay, that was almost bad. Let's get him. Yes, perfect. Oh, there we go. Come on. Oh, gosh, that was... Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, come on. Come on. Go die. There we are. Jeez. Oh, there's a ghast here over there, too. That'd be cool to go get. But for now, now that we've gotten those punks out of the way, I'll continue talking about what I was going to say. So over here, there's going to be a spawning ground for uh, for zombie pigmen. And what I'll do is I'll close these trap doors, hit one of them, and then they'll all try to chase me down, fall down to this platform down there, and hopefully die, and then I can go collect the loot. That's the whole plan. Now, the biggest issue with that is, well, it's not done yet, and I need to finish it. So, I've got a ton of uh, cobblestone in this chest. I've also got a little bit of lava. I sprayed lava all over the place on this wall. Just, uh, just as you can tell, back over there. Uh, just to try to light it up, because if you actually... Uh, zombie pigmen can't spawn, and in, in, it's got to be really, really light. So, I want to just add a ton of lava over there. And hopefully, they'll stop spawning, because I want them all to spawn on this platform up here. Also, another really important part about this build is that everything over there is made out of half slabs, so there's no way any mobs are spawning on this. It's a very, very useful trick, and uh, so basically the only spot mobs can actually spawn is going to be on this platform. So yeah, also by the way, it's a 22 by 22 platform. The size doesn't really matter. I could have made it bigger, but I just didn't want to waste time and cobble because it's not that big of a deal. Gold isn't that important, but it's going to be very, very easy to get a lot of gold really Really fast with this new technique. So, let me just finish all this up. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm gonna finish up this, uh, one of these potions and just take a look. Okay, so it's three minutes. That's not too bad. I didn't end up having to use it, but you never know. If I were to fall in, that would really, really stink, but I would have three minutes, I think, to swim out of the lava without dying, so that would actually, that, that would have been really useful, but unfortunately, 
I'm just too skilled, I didn't need to use it. Okay, so now this is uh, the farm. Now it's just one level. Eventually I'm gonna add at least two or three levels and what's gonna happen is I will wait on this side for things to spawn. Now they haven't spawned because I was too close, but if I wait over here, I think they should start spawning sooner or later. What's gonna happen is one's gonna come close, I'll hit it with a bow or punch it or something like that. Then all of them on this whole platform are gonna get really mad at me, chase me down, fall and eventually go down to this platform down here that I've actually forgotten to show you. So let me go down here. So they fall all the way down here. Their body splashes all over the place and eventually what's gonna happen is I will be a rich man collecting all their stuff. Now, I just thought about this. It's probably a good idea to go ahead and add some sort of wall so that the stuff doesn't fall out. That'd be pretty cool. I added this so you can't accidentally fall off, but think it would make sense to add a full wall. I don't know. Let's do that. Okay, so I think that just about wraps it up. Now, this is one ugly farm. I'm telling you guys, this is definitely not like an, a, a good, it's, it doesn't look good at all. It, it really doesn't look very good at all, but it's going to be productive, so I'm fine with it, and eventually I'll add a nice little waiting room, kind of like I did with the Blaze farm. That just may take a little while, though, because I've been spending way too much time in the nether. It's just scary. Like, at some points, it just gets scary. But anyways, <laughs> what I'm gonna do now is wait over in this direction a little bit. Maybe I can go grab that ghast here if it's still there. I don't know. Anyways, it's just got it's just about time. It's just, we just gotta wait, and, and then eventually things will start spawning. Hopefully. I, I hope. Okay, so I've been over here for a little while. I think it's about time I go back and check. Now, I'm not sure how long I have to wait, and when I'm actually playing, I'll probably end up waiting maybe 30 minutes by the farm, and just sitting there doing something else, maybe eating cereal, watching sports. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I just want to see if things have started spawning. I know they will eventually. I'm just not sure they will now because I, I've generated this area and they already spawned. I think I might have to leave and come back. I think that's probably the issue. So I'll give that a go. I'm not sure. We're going to work this out though. Anyways, so while I'm waiting on that, why don't we try out some of these horses? Now, I haven't shown you guys how all of them work, so I think it may be pretty cool for you guys to see what the other ones are like. So I've shown you, I don't think I've shown you this guy just yet, so let's go ahead and open him up. Uh, oh, you can keep that armor. You can keep that armor, and you can also add this, uh, saddle. Now, let's go over here and take a look. I don't know how fast this one is. Let's, let's see. Let's see. We'll do a little run through here, and we stopped. Oh, I think we stopped at actually 11. So, yeah, that's not too fast. Do you have hops, though? Huh? Do you have hops? Let's, uh, let's start at maybe right here. It'd be pretty cool. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. Oh, no, you don't have hops. Well, maybe. Yeah, okay, two and a half. That's not too bad. I mean, it's definitely not the worst I've got. I've still got this really weird horse that a lot of people are are suggesting it's a mule, but it's clearly a horse. <laughs> like, this dude right here is clearly a horse, but he's, oh man, he's something else. He's something special. You guys want to see him? <laughs> Let's test him out. I might have to let this guy go, set him free, and just, because he's glitched out, man. He's, I think he's like... He, he's got five hearts. He's really, really slow, but he's a full-grown horse. So I don't know what's up. Take a look. He's he's like 11. So it's, I mean, it's average speed, I guess. But I don't know, man. He's just weird because look at his hearts. He's got no hearts. Can he jump, though? Let's find out. Maybe maybe he's got some secret hidden hops. Okay, he does have hops. Oh, jeez. I feel like he could maybe make this one. No, he can't. Okay, so he's got three, maybe? Yeah, okay, he, he does have three pretty easily. So, he's at least he's got some hops. I mean, you know what I'll you know what I'll do? Let's keep him out here. So, let me actually take that saddle back. And we'll we'll leave him outside. Maybe he just needs some fresh air. So, what I'll do is I'll grab a lead, which I believe I might have in here. No. Oh, I actually have one in my inventory. Perfect. So, we'll go ahead and lead this man up to the fence and just see if he can get better over time. I don't know. <laughs> So now that we've done that, I want to go ahead and see what these other horses are about. So let me go ahead and feed this one. And let's try to tame it and see what uh, see what this guy looks like. Okay, so he's got a he's got a good amount of hearts. Okay, so now that we've got him fully under control, let's see. He seems really slow. Wow, this guy seems slow. Let's take a look. Okay, well that didn't work. Let me go back. <laughs> let's see. Huh? Yeah, that's really slow. He was like 9 or 10. Okay, but does he have hops? Let's find out. Let's get through these fences. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, let's see. Does he have hops? 
Oh, he actually, yeah, he might, he might, he might, you can't, it's actually kind of hard to tell, let's see. Yeah, okay, he's got three, he's got three, that's pretty good. Now what I'll do is uh, drop him off, let's go ahead and take the saddle off, and let's see what this other horse that's been walking around is like. Let's butter this dude up, and then we can hopefully tame him pretty easily here, he just ate a lot of wheat, let's see. Oh, right, can't ride him with the saddle just yet, oh, he bucks me off fast, okay. Oh, and he already loves me, perfect, okay, so we'll go ahead, add his saddle, and take a look. So this guy's got a lot of hearts, and he's actually fast. Oh, there we go. Wow. Okay, 14. He's fast. Can he jump high? Let's see. No, he cannot. He cannot jump high. Maybe he's got three. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, yeah, he's got three. I don't. I doubt he has three and a half, though. Yeah, he doesn't have three and a half. So he's got three jump. That's pretty good. You know what? We'll add him into the stall. We'll add him. He, I think he's earned his spot. I think... Oh, no, 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 no. No, he looks too much like this one. We can't. We can't. He looks the same. He's the exact same horse. We gotta leave him outside or something. Oh, well, I guess they can have different armor, but he looks a little bit too similar to our other horse. So he's going to stay out here for now. I'll take this saddle back. And you know what? Let's just go look for other horses, too. Why not? Hi okay, wow, this is bad. I don't want him to die. I don't want him to die. I don't want him to die. Okay. Okay, I can shoot the skeleton from here. There we go. This is awesome. So I'm a horseback to, to, to assassin, pretty much. Uh, this is pretty sick. So we'll be looking around here now. Let's see what we can, see what we can hunt down in the wilderness. Oh, this is really sweet. And with the infinity bow, I don't even even have to worry about missing any of my shots this is fantastic I think I need to make a bridge or something because right now the situation is, is I can't go over to the other part of the grasslands oh my gosh what a knockback shot that was pretty cool. And back across the bridge we go, and we're already back at the stables. It's crazy how fast horses are. Man, I love it. I absolutely love it. So we're... Oh, I, almost, I thought I was going to fall. So we're back. We're back. We can bring this guy back inside and leave him in his stall. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. So I think that just about does it for today's episode. Now what I'll quickly do is run back into the nether and see what's up with the farm. Maybe it'll start working. I don't know. I won't be too sad if it doesn't, though, because today was an awesome episode. And I just realized we cooked that stuff, but I never actually got it. So I'm going to have a lot of food in that furnace once I go back to the blacksmith, which would be pretty cool. Um, for now, though, we, I mean, we had a fantastic episode, if you think about Yeah, nothing, man. Huh. So I'm going to figure out what to do. I'm not too sure. You guys can help me out if you'd like. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But uh, for now, I think it is my time. It's my calling. I must depart and head back on without you all. Guys, thank you so much for the support and the feedback on this series. It has been fantastic, guys. Also, if I do remember, there should be a poll in the top right corner of this video where you will be able to vote on something for me to do within the next episode. So drop your ideas, let me know, and I will get it done for you all. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay frosty, my friends. Bye-bye. I'm gonna go take a nap.